surface area. Good news, we finally finished two dimensional shapes and now we're on to the first video in three dimensional shapes, which has to do with the surface area. Here's your checklist, and that is to calculate the surface area of the following. We have a cube, a cuboid, and a cylinder. All right, let's begin the lesson. The surface area is the sum of the areas of all the faces on a 3D shape. So here we have a cube and it has six square faces. To find the surface area of a cube, we would need to find the sum of the areas of those square faces. Another way we could think of the surface area is that it is the amount of space that a 3D shape would take if we were to flatten it out completely. When we do flatten the 3D shape completely, we get a net, and here is the net of this cube. Example. So here we have the net of the cube from before, and what it's saying is that the length of any side of one of the faces is 8 centimeters. Since it's a cube, all of the faces are squares, so all of the lengths are exactly the same. So to find the area of this cube, we just need to find six times the area of one face, and that would be six times eight by eight, which is 384 centimeters squared. Next, we move on to the cuboid, and a cuboid has six rectangular faces. They also have three different lengths. These are the height, the width, and the length. Because of these three lengths, we can have three different types of faces. And these are length by width, width by height, and length by height. Notice that there are two of each type of face. So to find the area of a cuboid, we can find the sum of two times each face. Example time. So we have a width of 10 centimeters, a length of 4 centimeters, and a height of 5 centimeters. We want to find the area of this cuboid. So we need to find the sum of two times the area of each type of face. So we have two by length by width plus two by width by height plus two by length by height. So we get two times four times 10 plus two by 10 times five plus two times four times five. And this gives us 80 plus 100 plus 40, which finally gives 220 centimeters squared. Now a cylinder has two circular faces and a one rectangular face. So to find the area of a cylinder, we need to find the area of those circular faces and the rectangular face, and then just add everything up. Final example, and we have a cylinder with radius 2 centimeters and length 8 centimeters and width 15 centimeters. To find the area of this cylinder, we need to find 2 times the area of the circular face, and then we need to add this to the area of the rectangular face. So we have 2 times pi r squared plus width by height, and we have 2 by 3.14 times 2 squared plus 15 by 8, and we get our final answer of 145.12 centimeters squared. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here if you want to get the latest from the Caribbean Scholar YouTube channel, or if you're ready, you can use the link in the description to hop onto our website and sign up for one of our premium courses.